Mike Hamilton Lithia Toyota. Super windy this morning. And I'm going to do a quick review of a very popular RAV4 hybrid behind me. Is an XLE RAV4 hybrid 2022. I'll be right back. This color is one of the popular colors that a lot of buyers like. This is known as Ruby Flare Pearl. It's one of the two reds that Toyota has in the RAV4 line. The other one is Supersonic Red, which you see on the XSE trims. Um, coming into 2022, Toyota took away a little bit off this vehicle. Uh, they don't no longer are offering uh, fog lights on the XLE grade. You can get them on the XLE premiums. Uh, but they give you a, a lot brighter, nicer, more attractive headlight uh, for uh, low beams and high beams, HIDs or LEDs uh, with the accent strips there. And again, nice attractive grill on this here. Um, beautiful color, Ruby Flare Pearl, full suite of Toyota Safety Sense. This one does have the roof rack with the roof rack crossbars on it. Um, still the same rims that they had last year. Uh, Toyota's been stepping up their rim game and putting much more attractive rims as of late. Um, but these go pretty good with this vehicle. It does have uh, turn signal indicators and matching painted mirror caps. It is a proximity key for the both front doors. And let's go ahead and take a look on the inside real quick. Uh, no power seat for the passenger here. We do get a uh, uh, that soft text material on here injects it, molded, um, soft touch dash, uh, soft text and uh, cloth seats on this one here, and dual climate controls. And the smaller seven inch infotainment is on this one here. Uh, we'll go over that when we get inside. Again, we do have a moonroof and sunroof on this one, cross, roof rack crossbars. Let's go ahead and take a look at our back seat here. Uh, seating for five so we have three for back here we do have a center armrest with cup holders there's a bottle holder and a door a couple air vents but no air controls a couple USB C's and there's also a couple USB C's inside the uh, center console there now uh, they are doing um, LED lighting on this one here let's move towards the back we do have our wind vortex generators to scrub off that bad air uh, sorry we're getting wind right now comes with the uh, power lift gate on this one here. That's one of three ways to open up. It does only have one camera, which is your backup camera. Let's take a look on the inside. We have the uh, all-weather cargo liner in here. We do have our privacy covers. And let me show you this back seats folded down. All right, I'm not gonna move the uh, privacy cover, but that's a spring load. It comes out super easy, but you can see you have huge pass-through and now you can put some pretty large stuff in there. It does go slightly uphill as those seats are more plush. It's also where they keep the uh, hybrid battery for this vehicle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. I left this one back seat down to show you how easy it folds right back up. And let me show you how easy it folds down. Boom. Super easy. Let's go on the inside to show you my leg room. I am six foot two and I had that seat in the front seat back, back for me. Again, I have a couple inches. Plenty of room. Your air controllers are there with your USBs. This one is equipped with the uh, cold weather package on here. So we do have heated steering wheel, heated windshield wipers, rain sensing wipers. Comes with an auto dimming high beam and then there's a button for your lift gate. So you have 
three different ways to open up this lift gate. You can squeeze the key fob for three seconds. You could also push that button for three seconds or just squeeze the handle, let it go, and it will open it up. Toyota's providing you with the leather-wrapped steering wheel, real nice to the touch. On this side, we have all our cruise control information set in our cruise control on here. We have our lane departure and lane trace assistance, our adaptive cruise control button, changing our radio modes. This side is a toggle that controls the driver's information center, gives you a variety of information. I'll go over that quickly. Um, picking up and hanging up your cell phone. Um, and then we have volume and push to talk for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on here in the Toyota system. Toyota is offering you blind spot monitors, rear cross traffic alerts, you have, again, the soft touch dash, the uh, heads up uh, infotainment, so you're not looking down, you're looking up more up at the road. You got this uh, gloss piano black materials in here, some of this nickel polish looks. We do have kind of a rugged place to store your cell phones with some, uh, they do that in the cup holders and other places on here, different places to store your cell phones. It does have a locking glove box on this one here. Oh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is the, uh, noise one of these vehicles makes in reverse they're so quiet when the engine's not running they actually have a little speaker toyota's giving you analog gauges along with digital gauges the center is your information center it's a smaller four inch but you get digital miles per hour uh fill economy it's got seven miles so it doesn't have any fill economy you know, eco bar you also have an eco uh, meter also on the left side in the, in the analog uh, we have our uh, adaptive cruise control, lane trace assistance. Uh, we have our trip information on here, hybrid system information, PSI for the tires, all-wheel drive information on here. All our Toyota safety sense, again, this has the full suite on here with all the interactive equipment that's available. No message that there's a problem. It would tell you what's wrong with the vehicle on that screen and actually become your only screen. Air controls are dual climate, so we have uh, his and hers on here. You could sync it in with this button and make it one side for both. Uh, we have front defrost, rear defrost, eco heat and cool, fan speeds low and high. This changes the, the different flows inside, outside air. This button here, when you activate it, it's going to keep all the air on the front. And so if you have no rear passengers and it's a really hot day, you just push that button to put all the air to the front. There we do have two stage heated seats for the, the front there. Um, we have our smaller infotainment on here. There's two sizes. This is the seven inch in there. This supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It does have uh, Sirius XM on here for trial. Um, could put up to five phones in, the, in this system here. Um, has a okay backup camera which there so not the clearest but decent camera on this here going down the bottom we have our primary usb for our uh, bringing in our apple carplane android auto they make a thing called a dongle that you use on the apple carplay to make it wireless it does come with the electronic emergency brake so all you have to do is park it and it sets put it in reverse or forward it takes it out um you have different drive modes we have a normal and then if you want to get the best fuel economy you turn it on eco if you want to get the go faster you put it on sport and it does have an electrical vehicle mode range but that's really at crawl speeds like highway and traffic um, you could run electric to save your gas this uh, rav4 is super super popular especially now with gas prices pushing six dollars a gallon where i live 40 miles a gallon on the average here this is a great choice gonna save you tons of money if you're in something that's not very fill efficient so if you're getting 20 or less on average you're driving a pickup or a uh, big suv with a gas engine um, this is a great choice. It's got a pretty good uh, MSRP. It's in the uh, about the 34,000 range. Actually, matter of fact, let me go over that as it was too windy for me to really talk about that outside. But let's let's go over what we have in this vehicle. So XLE all-wheel drive. Any hybrid is already an all-wheel drive in the RAV4s. There's no front-wheel drive. As you, if you get a Highlander hybrid, it's optional. Comes with five-star 
overall crash safety ratings on it. Um, we get 41 city, 38 highway with the 40 miles uh, combined if you drive the average uh, mileage per year over the average cost of film you're going to save $2,000 uh, base MSRP on this vehicle uh, before accessories and add-ons is $30,545 it comes with the XLE weather package heated leather trim steering wheel heated front seats rain sensing variable intermittent windshield wipers the icer function um, XLE convenience package, height adjusted power lift gate, power tilt moonroof sunroof. Uh, it does have a special color on that, so if you get this with a standard color, you won't have to pay the $425. Uh, other things we have here is all weather floor mats and cargo liner, rough rack crossbars, and mud guards are all part of this. Destination and processing from Toyota's $1,215. The final price before tax license and dock fees, depending on where you live, is $35,088. I think it's a really good value. Um, again, they took away the fog lights on these here because they put brighter lights in. Also, might be a supply chain issue because Toyota's running into all kinds of problems trying to get things like these digital review mirrors that were in the Sienna minivan. I think one other vehicle they're pulling them out of too. So. Only the highest grade now could get the uh, where the uh, turns into a TV screen as a camera. Um, but the uh, again, these fog lights used to be in this level. Now it's for the grades that have it are XLE Premium and Limited. Now the XLEs and the and the XSEs do not have the XSEs get a uh, an accent light where the fog lights used to be. So interesting because the XSE are a little bit more expensive than the XLEs. Well, thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.